Hey guys, Ash here from Escape. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to get your head around quick selection sets in Maya. Okay, so we've got a 3D model here of an E, E for Escape Studios. I want to grab some of the verts on the top of the E and play around with them. So I'm going to right click and go to Vertex. I'm going to select the top ones. Oh look, spin it round, it makes an S. Very clever. So I've grabbed the top four verts. I can scale them, I can move them, I can rotate them, I can extrude them, I can do whatever I like with them. I'm going to jump up into Create. And right at the bottom, you'll see Sets. I'm then going to choose Quick Select Set. It'll ask me to make a name. I'll call it Top Verts. Now, if I deselect those vertex, let's go back into Object Mode. Now, if I go to Edit, I can scroll down to the Quick Set menu, and you'll see Top Verts is now one of the options. Once I click it, it automatically selects everything in the Quick Set set for you. It doesn't have to be verts. I can right-click and select Edges. I'll select some random edges around my model. Create again, sets. This time, I'll give it a name, edges, and I'm going to click add to shelf. Maya's created a button on my custom shelf that says edges. If I again go back to object mode, then click on edges, it reselects the edges. Doesn't have to be just them, also faces. I'm not going to put these ones in the shelf, just make a normal quick select set. You'll notice that even though I put edges on the shelf, it still appears in the menu in the edit tab. And once it reselects them, you can do anything you want with them. I'm going to duplicate my E now, create a second E. I'll head back up to the edit menu, select the top verts quick set, and you can see it selected the verts on both models, which is incredibly useful. I'm going to now right click and select vertex on both of these objects. I'll grab those verts, I'll shift select, and I'll grab these verts as well. I've grabbed vertices from two models now. I'll go again, go up to create, create a new set, and despite them being two separate models, you can still create sets that go over both of them. When your models start getting fiddly and complicated, you can see how this would be incredibly useful. You can also use quick sets to select different sets of objects and save them as a set as well. It's a very simple but very powerful tool which is useful for beginners and experts alike. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Escape Experience. It showcases some great work by some of our really talented escapees. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of our videos. We'll see you next time.